Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about <clears throat> how to fix the KB update KB5065246 note installing error code that is 0x80073712 or 0x800F0091 or 0x800F083 on a Windows 11. Then how we can fix this? So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about we need to pause and restart the update that's what we have to do as the first one first one is all about we need to pause and restart the update that's what we have to do so to do so we just need to go over here search for the settings click on the settings now after him hit directly navigate to the windows update now from here you have to check so as you can see there is an option called pause update so first one we just need to go over here set this to any one of these you have to set it either to pause one week or two week just set into this and once you set into this all we have to do is we just need to wait for a bit of time then once you end this up just go for a resume update now once you resume the update over here as you can see just wait for this and uh, as you can see this will take a bit of time afterwards you can try updating the windows and you can check that might work next one is all about we need to start app readiness service to do so go over here search for the services click on the services and right now we need to go over here click on app readiness so right click over here and go to the properties now go to the startup types should be automatic and the service status should be stop it as you can see this stop it so we have to click on the start and that is very important and once you run this on over here you have to close this and move to the next one that we need to run update troubleshooter to do so we just need to go over here search for the settings click on the settings now from here directly navigate to system scroll down and navigate to we have to scroll down here and navigate to troubleshoot so click on other troubleshoots and this is actually a step default by windows where you can update your windows and that's going to fix issue up so just click on so we are having the issue with the windows update so just click on the run now just wait for a bit of time now what happens is this will be uh, this is actually a solution from the windows end they are going to run some troubleshoot diagnostics and they are going to fix the issue so all we have to do is we just need to wait for a bit of time then once we wait for a bit of time what we need to do is just go over here now the windows once this pop up window might ask you the question what is the issue so for me i'm having an issue with i can't download and install or uninstall an update so or you have you will be having an issue with i installed an update but the update has caused the problem for me, I'm going for this one. Then it will be asking you some diagnostic steps where just go for yes. And it will be running some steps that might help you guys out in some way. You can try this out. Next one is all about we need to restart the Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Service. To do so, we just need to go over here. Search for the service once again. Click on the service. First one, we need to scroll down and navigate to Windows Update. Just go over here Windows Update and right click and go to the properties. Go to the startup type, it should be automatic and make sure the service status is running and go for OK. And also after this, if it is stopped, for example, if you notice this service status is stopped, click on the start button and make sure it is running. Similarly, go over here at the top and navigate to background intelligent transfer service over here, right click and go to the properties and change this to the automatic and go for apply. And if the service status is stopped, just click on the start. Now wait for a little bit of time. Then once it is done, successfully done, we just need to close this and you have to close this as well and you can check that might work. So make sure it is all done. Just go to the properties once again. This should be automatic and go for apply once again. Wait for the process to bring the changes. It should not be automatic delayed. It should be automatic then go for OK. Now right click on this one, go to restart once again. Now just close everything over here and we have to launch or we have to check that might fix the issue. Next one is all about we have to use the Windows 11 installation assistant. So I'll be providing a link in the description that's going to take you to this. This is over here. Just click over here. My connection has terminated. So over here if you go to this particular page you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Now use this particular tool so that you can download and install it and you can check that might work in most cases. That is very important and you have to check. Next sure we have to use the Microsoft Update Catalog. So go over here, 
So we have this particular one that is KB506246. So this is the update number. So you'll be getting this or whatever the error that you're facing, the value with the KB can be copied and you can go to this particular link over here at the top. Now paste this particular link over here. Just paste it and go for a search. Now we just need to wait for a little bit of time. As you can see, you'll be getting a lot of details. From this, you have to select the respective one. If the system is based on x64, you have to download this one and install it and you have to check that might work. Next one is all about keep scrolling down. And over here, as you can see, we have to reset the Windows update component. To do so, we have to copy everything over here. Keep scrolling down. Now we have to copy all these commands till here and we have to save this and we need to name the file as woofix.bat. To do so, we just need to go over here, minimize everything. Now if you're already having one, so let me delete this, it's already there. So once it is successfully deleted, right click over here and go to refresh it. Once the refresh is done, right click on once again, we have to right click and go to show more options and just wait. Now go to new, find text document. And once you create a new text document, so you just need to open it. Because whatever the files that you have copied from here, everything should be pasted. We have to paste it. So just wait for this to get completely done. Now copy and paste whatever you copied from there. Now once you paste it, as you can see, all these commands are done. Once you paste, just go to the file and go to save as. Now make sure that you set it to all files and change this to woofix.bat. You have to change this to woofix.bat. And you have to save this to desktop. Now go for save. Once you save this file, copy everything. You can see you'll be having a folder here like woofix.bat. Right click on this one and run it as an administrator. But keep in mind, this particular step will take a lot of time. And it will take hardly around half and maybe half an hour or one hour. So make sure that and once afterwards, you can just go over here, search for the settings. Now we get to the settings once again and you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. So go to the five windows update over here and check whether still if you are having the trouble, you might be having the trouble. If that is the case, you just need to pause it for a week. Just check it once again. That might work in some cases. And as you can see, it is six percentage. Now I'm having the trouble. My computer is slow because it's getting downloaded in the background. Still, there is an issue. What you need to do is just go over here. You can either use option fix problem using Windows update. So just go over here, search for the settings once again. You can navigate to the settings. Now go to the system, scroll down over here. We have to scroll down and navigate to the recovery. Now find fix problem using Windows update. Just reinstall now. You can click it, but keep in mind, you'll not be losing any current version. You'll be having everything, all the apps, files and settings will be preserved over here. Now close everything and you have to check. Next one is all about, we need to update, use media creation tool in order to update your windows. So minimize this, go to the link which I'll be providing in the video description. Scroll down. Now over here, go to Windows 11 media installation. Now from here, we have to download this and you have to check that might work. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.